welcome back to Dallas Music Network. I'm your host, Emmeline, and I'm here with the incredibly talented Vandal Andrews. How are you doing, my friend? I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you so much for taking the time to come play for us. Thank you for having me. I, it's a privilege and an honor. You've played saxophone all over the place, but I hear that you got started in New Orleans. Can you tell us a little I bit did. about how you began playing? When I was about 13 years old, my mom sent me to a jazz summer camp that I did not want to go to. I wanted to spend the, the whole summer playing basketball, you know, in my backyard, and she saw a difference. She wanted me to learn an instrument. Mm -hmm. um, my mom plays flute, so she's she's always, you know, played music around us, and, you know, she always told us that we would play one day. So that day came at 13. I picked the trumpet to play as my first instrument. Really? And um, it lasted that summer. I never touched it again. The saxophone came and just blew my mind. Yeah. I started to hear John Coltrane and people like Charlie Parker. Everybody who my teachers were introduced me to, my teachers were also saxophone players too. So they convinced me to make the switch. And um, 20 something years later, here I am. Yeah. No, there's. So it sounds like your love affair with music really began with the saxophone. Like you were there, you hung out with the trumpet, mm -hmm. but it wasn't until you found sax that you really found your place. Definitely, definitely. That was my voice. Yeah, absolutely, and continues to be. You've had immense success as a sax player. You've played for lots of people at the Billboard charts. Yeah. Um, but you were telling me that, you know, despite all of the success, you still have some really concrete goals that you'd like to accomplish over the next little while. Can you talk to us about that? So next month I'll be, we always have these, these um, life milestones, you know. Mm -hmm. Next month I'll be turning 35 and I just, I look at things differently now. Um, before it was about, you know, people hearing my music and, you know, making new fans. Now it's, it's simply about making the music that I want to make mm. that is completely authentic, timeless, and that will stand the test of time, you know, hundreds of thousands of years after I'm gone. So that's the goal now. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I think as musicians, like that's something we really want, right? Is to make something Definitely. that lasts. Mm -hmm. Something that speaks to the truth of the human spirit exactly. that lives beyond us. Exactly. Yeah. And it sounds like you sort of found that in saxophone and now are looking to give that to other people. I feel like I'm still searching, but... Really? You know, some people, some people like to hear me play saxophone. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Apparently, because you had a gig before this and you got a gig after this. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, and you were kind enough to come play for us here. So, do you still find as much joy in it as you found the first time you picked it up? I do, I do. Still look up, look at my, my clock and, you know, hours have passed by since I touched this instrument today, you know, so yeah, it definitely, it still feels the same. That's awesome. That's really cool. And you, as you continue to make music, as you continue to, that search for your voice, um, it sounds like one of the things that you're really excited about is the potential to record with a band. Yes. So I, I've, I've never recorded any music in the studio with my band. It's always me by myself, um, making beats, composing, whatever. And then I present it to them and we play it live. Mm. So there's never been the band in the studio. I wanna do that. I wanna bring the same energy that we have on stage into the studio and see what we're able to create. Yeah, you want that like actual spirit of collaboration. Exactly. Is that something you feel like you guys really have on stage? Most definitely. It's, we've all become really good friends mm -hmm. at this point. So my the drummer, you know, she knows if I make a certain move, what, what's kind of, what's going to happen next in the song? You know, we, we all kind of have our certain things, our certain gestures that we do, and we know this is going to happen next. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's all because we are friends now. <laughs> yeah, well, and you can read each other. Like, yeah. there's a everybody has their own unique rhythm, right? Mm -hmm. And their own cadence, and mm -hmm. you learn to sort of follow that as you play more and more together. Exactly. So it sounds like you guys have really found like a collective sound that's yours, and not just individual sounds that are yours that you bring together. Exactly. That'll be a cool thing to capture in studio. Most definitely. Is that on the docket for 2022? It's, I mean, next week if I can. Really? <laughs> no, no, but definitely soon though, definitely. That's fantastic. One of the cool things that you've gotten to experience is, you know, like you talked about walking into a store and hearing your music play overhead. You've hit the billboard charts, which is mm -hmm. a huge, huge, huge milestone for a musician. What does that stuff feel like? It feels good. <laughs> it right? feels good. Yeah. Does it does it come though with that kind of joy that you expect when you achieve a goal? Do you give yourself a chance to revel in that or do you just go for the next thing? I'm not very good at celebrating. So it's always the next thing for me. Yeah. Um you know, you for me at least, you know, I get there and it's like, 
oh, I'm cool, I'm here. All right, what's next? You yeah. know, um, while I do appreciate it, um, it's kind of like that was yesterday. And now it's time to do the next thing. I look at all the, the people that I look up to, mm-hmm. all the, 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 the greats, they all did it over and over again. So I want to yeah. do it again. So what again. I, yeah, so what I hear you saying is that you use those wins as motivation for the next win. Exactly. It can be done. It's like it can be done, you know. It's the next thing. Yeah, so where's, where's the next one? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Rindell, it's such an honor to have you. I'm so grateful to you, you for coming to play for us here at Dallas Thank Music you. Network. If our friends at home are watching and thinking, God, Vandell sounds awesome, where's the best place for them to check you out? You can find me everywhere at Vandell Andrew. That's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. TikTok too, yeah. Yeah, you do TikTok. I don't. I'm I'm new to it. I'm I'm you know. I have a 12 year old daughter who's who's kind of she's teaching me. <laughs> so, I, so that's one of the next goals, right? Yeah, TikTok. That's maybe, one of the maybe. next terrain to conquer. We'll see. I love it, Vandell. Thank you so much, man. It's such an honor to have you grace our stage. Um, you'll hear more from Vandell next. <laughs>